Hi, my name is Neil with 21st Century Equipment. Today we're going to be looking at this John Deere 120R Quick Park Loader. This John Deere 1025R is equipped with the 120R loader, able to pick up just over 800 pounds at the pivot. We're going to show you how easy it is to install and uninstall this 120R loader. You might want to remove the loader if you're doing a lot of heavy cutting or things where maneuverability is absolutely critical. Go ahead and under a minute remove this 120R loader and then when you need to use the loader again, pop it right back on. We're going to show you how easy it is to do that. To start, we're going to get in the operator's seat and get the tractor into position. And from there, I'll walk you through the steps. It might be a little bit awkward as I'll be talking over the running engine at different stages in the process. One of the first things to do is to make sure that the, the loader itself is on the ground and flat ground as I look around. I don't want the tractor and the loader to be at a lot of strange angles. So as long as the ground is relatively flat, we're good to go. From there, I'm going to raise these latches. From here, the tractor is going to do all of the work. Follow along. Using the loader control lever over here on my right, I simply pull back on the lever as if I was raising the bucket. As you can see, the loader immediately starts to move on the mount. At the same time, the stand pivots into place. From here, I turn off the tractor and I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the hydraulics. This tractor is equipped with the new for 2023 single point hydraulic connection. There's a safety latch right here and this large lever. That's all it takes. A little bit of wiggle to get the hydraulics free and we are good to go. Set those up on the front of the machine. With that, I'm ready to drive away from this loader and use the tractor however I need. That single point connector makes all the difference. No wrestling with multiple hoses. One click and it's disconnected. And you'll see when I go to put it back on here in a few minutes, how easy it is to reconnect. you to think I'm cheating so I drove in a circle there. All I do is pull back into this loader until that stand just about touches the front axle. Turn off my tractor. I'm going to show you again how easy it is to reconnect these single point hydraulics. These two points line up with two holes on the bracket. Give it a little wiggle to make sure everything's aligned. It snaps into place. Then it's simply a matter of pushing this latch forward until my safety catch engages. That's it, the hydraulics are ready to go. Now, once I'm back in the seat and the tractor's running, I push forward on the lever, and you'll notice that the loader starts to slide itself in place. It is possible as I'm doing this that I may have to move the tractor a little forward or a little backwards just to make sure everything lines up. drops into place. Once I'm there, it's simply a matter of reaching forward and latching the loader into place. We are ready to go do some more work. The single point hydraulic connector on these 120R loaders is standard on the 23 model years. In addition, we can get you set up on an older loader through our parts department. Come into your local 21st century and let us tell you about how to set up a single point connector on your older loader. Or if you're in the market for a new tractor, remember the single point connector makes it quick and easy to remove this loader. <laughs>